No big deal, Obi and I just casually went to a Hollywood movie screening on a Wednesday afternoon in Beverly Hills. Just kidding, this was a very big deal. <laughs> Can I get a woo for that? <laughs> the point of this video is to take you behind the scenes and show you what it is like to attend a Hollywood movie premiere with me and Oatmeal. The morning of, we went to Nordstrom to get a tux for Mr. Meal and he just looked so handsome. What a handsome little tuxedo dog. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, actually that's a lie. I only said it for the bit, but I just want to make sure that like no one goes to Nordstrom and asks one of their employees for the dog tuxedo selection. I don't think it exists. The dog tuxedo bandana, however, is from Amazon and I will have it linked in the description if you want to check it out. And here's my fit. I call this my Disney mom hair. I use my Dyson Airwrap to flip out the ends so it looks like it's defying gravity. <laughs> my dress is from Zara. I'm not lying about that, I promise. I got it two years ago for only $25.99. And they don't sell it anymore, but I'm sure you can find it on eBay or another reseller site. Here's a screenshot of the product info. I'll also have it written out in the description if you wanna go hunt it down or whatever. It's a very great dress, one of my all-time favorites. I've worn it a few times. I wore it to the Eras tour too. I made a little like reputation outfit with it. <laughs> okay, back to getting ready. Right before heading out the door, I realized that Oatmeal looked a little mangy, so I took the opportunity to give him a little brush. He loves it. Fun little ADHD moment. On the invite, it said that the screening started at 1.30. So I was like, sweet, that's when I'll get there. Good thing I got a wild hair to double check the invitation at noon on Wednesday, because I realized that it said in bolded underlined text, arrive by 1 p.m. The movie started at 1.30. Luckily, I had just enough time to get all of my stuff together and rush out the door. We made it there exactly at 1 p.m. That's what we like to call an ADHD miracle. <laughs> we had just enough time to pose for some photo ops. Mr. Meal was eating it up. Look at his tongue hanging out the side of his head. I feel like he does that on purpose sometimes just to ham it up. <laughs> then we got this cute picture together. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wanna get that tattooed on my lower back. Want to remember it forever. This theater was so bougie. It was an IPIC. They had fancy lounge chair style seats. I'm used to the like cardboard folding theater style seats. No, these were luxurious. At one point I walked up to the bar to order a drink, but the employee was like, oh no, go back down to your seat. We have waiters for that. Half of the restaurants I go to don't have waiters. Lo and behold, moments later, I had someone just appear beside me asking what they could get for me. And for this specific event, there was free food, snacks, and drinks. I was fully expecting to have to take out a loan to get myself a truckload of popcorn to treat myself, but when I saw it sitting out for free, I almost lost my mind. I was in like a parallel universe. I almost shed a tear. So obviously I had to stock up and Mr. Meal was really eyeing my stash. Too bad he couldn't have a bite. I felt so bad, but he gets treats all the time. This was my treat. I deserve a treat too. <laughs> They also had like a full menu that we could order real food from. So I got a crab cake sandwich, a quesadilla, and these like crispy rice bites with spicy tuna on top. And it was like genuinely really good food too. And it was free. And then I got myself a little Diet Coke to wash it all down. I didn't film any of this because they brought me my food during the movie. And also I just inhaled it. So you guys didn't need to see that. <laughs> it's for the best. The movie itself was so good. I mean, you can't really go wrong with a dog movie, but the fact that this is based on a true story just made it like extra special. It's equal parts action, adventure, and sentimental. This is the second movie ever that has made me cry happy tears. That's saying something. It takes a lot. Very small spoiler alert. Mute me if you don't want to hear this, but the dog doesn't die. Ah, we love. I was so worried it would. I would have been a wreck. I would have been an absolute mess. Anyways, this was an absolutely amazing experience. I left with my purse filled to the brim with free candy. <laughs> what more could a girl ask for? I have wanted to go to something like this ever since I was a kid. And I actually got an offer to go to a movie premiere over the summer, but I had to turn it down because the strikes were happening and I just didn't feel right going. Union actors and actresses were not attending movie premieres or promoting any movies as a part of the strike. And since I would like to act one day, I just didn't feel right taking one of their places as an influencer. So, had to turn it down. That was very tough. 
but it's all worth it because this experience was so amazing. <laughs> I actually worked as an influencer to promote Arthur the King too, and I made a super fun video for that. Here's a link to the ad if you wanna check it out. I think it's right there. I'm still getting used to YouTube and where all the, the buttons can go. <laughs> Anyways, go see Arthur the King. It's in theaters now. It is worth the watch. You will not be disappointed. And subscribe for more adventures with me and Mr. Meal.